Tales of the Free Krakow Coalition. And uh, here you can see the, a map of Krakow. There's some player characters on this sheet. Maybe not all of them. I don't know where everyone is, actually. I don't see Kasha on here. Kasha is at the castle. But I don't see her token. And Florian, she must be I don't dead. know where she's at. Florian's over here with the Pope. Yep. Kasha. I see Kasha. Huh? I see a Kasha token somewhere. Where? Well, well, while I'm doing this, while I'm finding tokens, oh, well, she's we should introduce the players for today. Them all over the place. Mm -hmm. uh, where so? Uh, well, since Amy's talking, first we have Kasha. A Amy. Hello. She's playing Kasha. I am playing Kasha Flipovich and her husband Florian Flipovich. I only have I only have the whole Saint Florian. <laughs> I don't have like a recent one of him. We look at the Warsaw battle map. What do I have for him? No, it's still this. It's still this guy. You've never changed it. I've never changed it. This is funny. Here's a token we use for for uh that you use for flooring. The, here we go. Right here. There he is. Sort of. Yep. He's hanging with the Pope. He's with his with his Jean old Paul. old timey old timey robes. All right. It's a castle. Yeah. Okay. So this, uh, anyway. Uh, after, well, Amy playing Kasha and St. Florian. And next we have Gabe. Um, hi, Gabriel here. Oh, sorry, I was grabbing a bite. Um, <laughs> <laughs> I'm playing Ronson. Um, private, private Ronson, uh, now the T-62 commander, T-72 commander. Um, and his body is DS, and she rides a uh, BMP. <laughs> yeah. yeah, they each have a vehicle, isn't that great? It's like, um, it's like the Road Warrior or Fury Road for those of you who don't remember the Mad Max three Mad early Mad Max things. Um, all right, and then we have Vince. Hi, I'm Vince. I play Rupert Hun, who is a uh, German. Uh, vehicle commander. So he has his own squad and the Spock Lux. Yeah. I think I have everyone on the Krakow environs. Probably. Yeah, I have like a bunch of people. But I still don't have Florian. That's the only thing Florian I have. Yep, yep. And but the do Lux, you mean you the don't Lux have is... him? Yeah, everything's on the other. I mean, you know, I, I mean, He's right I don't have there. a token. I know I don't have a token for him. You got to update that. But you know, too busy. <laughs> All right. So uh, when we last left off, and people, uh, people had reached Krakow, or the first part of the Free Krakow Coalition had reached Krakow. So that would have been uh, Ronson and Diaz and those vehicles, Rupert, uh, Kasha, uh, Florian. The uh, the hind in tow and the tanker, and they went around Krakow to the airport, which is this direction. Mm -hmm. uh, this direction, uh, Rupert and Volkov and Ronson, who were out there, had an encounter out at the airport, had to clear it of some marauders and other squatters uh, for the arrival of the former Soviet 10th with their CIA handler. Although, I mean, I don't know who handles who. They're a force of 310 people, including a howitzer and now a couple of vehicles. So, But Vlad's crew also has a couple of uh, IFVs. So, so that's a pretty good little column in and of itself. T-72, BMP, um, uh, spot Panzer looks a couple. Uh, well, I, I'm gonna say OT 64s, but I don't because I don't, I never remember the Russian designation for those, but they're effectively the same as those. Um, the eight wheeled 
eight wheels with a KPV on it yeah. versus a BMP, which has a, like a mini, like a cannon on it, like the Spa Panzer. Too bad the too bad the the shells aren't compatible, right? Um, anyway, so they took care of that. Uh, meanwhile, Kasha had met Dimitri, uh, who is a. I wonder if there is. There might be a Dimitri somewhere. Dimitri is with Adam with Yosef. Yeah, man. Here's a, here's Dimitri. I got. I have. Oops. I have a Dimitri. He's all truncated, but but that's <laughs> that's Dimitri right there, right here. <laughs> yep. Yeah. So he's a. Uh, he kind of works for the government of Krakow. He is uh, the one of the lieutenants of the Warta, which is like the palace guard for the leader of Krakow. I'm throwing all these tokens here, and people are probably lost. We'll put Dimitri to the side. But they went with Dimitri uh, first to visit the Pope, then to see their comp, to see everyone in their compound. They have a pretty good-sized group. Eventually, they all met at Nostrovi, which is a bar nearby, their compound here in, in the main square, kind of across from St. Maria's Basilica, where Pope John Paul is in residence, actually, um, having been rescued by Dimitri and other people, including members of the Free Krakow Coalition. Um, and they, it, from, they kind of filled in Kasha, uh, what, was, what happened while they were gone up or down the Vistula, so, all right, so then uh, Ronson, uh, Rupert et al. came back into town. And then, uh, like, some, there was people at this checkpoint out here, or guards at, you know, a crack out this checkpoint but between at night when they're coming in or in the evening, there's, like, no guards between here, mm -hmm. right? So then in this area here, in these fields that had been harvested, some people, or was it these, one of these fields, some people had attacked them. It went pretty quickly. There wasn't really no challenge, but it is a concern. And and then the next day, Ronson has gone to talk to the, the guards out here and, you know, warn the marauders, help volunteer to help shore up defenses or whatever. Right. Um, yep. And see what's going on. I mean, I guess they, they also found out that after after the incidency, uh, after all the events before you left up the Vistula and had this uh, and stopped the KGB from having marauders attack uh, the main part of Krakow. That was so long ago, it seems. Uh, mm -hmm. There was a purge of a lot of personnel who were there who had been groomed by the KGB plants in the Ormo of Krakow and uh, about one would say 10% of them were either uh, killed outright or sentenced to indentured servitude out here as Robotoniki uh, like like refugees uh, so but still the Ormo is pretty big although a lot of the Ormo is, is a dedicated oops something happened to Amy All right, so everyone has their like little agendas as they get back to Krakow. Um, oh, the other one, I guess Rupert, while well, Kasha is trying to reconnect with um, various people. So um, in the town, for example, this guy, little Yosef. You guys can figure out how to pronounce that. Devodka Yosef Kutzer, Kutzerba, Kutziba, and this wonderful fellow, General Divizji Zygmunt Bahuz Shishko. We don't like him. So those two guys. Um, and then Rupert has i don't i don't have a picture of him because rupert really hasn't met him yet but rupert has connected with somebody who says that they're 
uh, going to help with operation reset. So, and and you had also followed up on that KGB or those marauders were trying to contact remnants of the other KGB faction that had yes. kind of gone underground since the purge. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> An undercover cell that has to be thwarted once again. Yeah. So Rupert's pursuing those two things. Um, is there anything else I missed? Don't think so. That's it. All right. So when we, and we, the last thing that happened is um, Kasha had gone to the castle. Mm hmm With Dimitri. With uh, Dimitri. Oh, so I guess we need Dimitri. Well, he's not there now. He's not there. Okay. Well, we went to see little Yosef. We told him, we explained about General. He said he'd take care of it. Dimitri went with him. Lots of yelling. So Kasha asked Adam, which is Marian's guard, to go help. And he and a couple of guards went to go help. Last I heard, they were just yelling and screaming. Okay. Yeah. So let's see. Um, I wish you guys could draw cards, but I can't. They have never tried. Do we try? No, uh, don't worry about it. So here's little Yosef. Here is the general. We have them out. Little Yosef carries around this like old timey sword, uh, like a, you know, I don't know if it's a real or if it's a real thing or a replica, but he has like a sword as mm -hmm. if he were like a, and I think it's like, what is it? It's the, uh, it's the, he, uh, he sits on a throne in the palace with uh, Jert, with this sword. Whatever you want to call it. This one, I should, I'll put it in the chat. With the sword here, Jer, uh, Jer, uh, Jerbiak, a jagged 14th century coronation sword. Nice. All right. So let's see. Um, I'm going to roll. So this is the, this is Yosef, this is the John. And I will roll the recon for the general. Maybe I should have the players do this kind of stuff. I'll be the general. You guys be Yosef. We'll see what happens. All right. All right. So now, so it looks like the general can hear Joseph storming in. Not a big deal. Dimitri, of course, is following. Kasha's outside, you know, He's admiring thinking. admiring the hip, the uh the other helicopter that they have. Um, I don't know. If it is. I, it is an Mi eight. Yeah, it's an it, Mi eight, but I think it has missiles that are compatible. I don't know if they what they. I don't know what their loadout is. They have not to let me near it. Yeah, you never try. You never tried. Not good. Yeah. Oh, is it a? It's a real sword. Wow. Yeah. Oh, sword. Very, very pretty. Well, wow. except Yosef's is now in pieces, and I imagine it. No, tape it's gonna. Yet. It'll definitely. I don't know if it's sharpened. It doesn't look sharpened though. It can be fixed. Huh? It can be fixed. All right. So, um, well. You hear the general yelling at Yosef. Um, uh, all right. So roll me a 2d8. Somebody rolled me 2d8. Who do you want to roll? It doesn't matter. Someone rolled me 2d8. 2d8. Two and a two, but Vince did better. He no. had one five. 
So whichever you want to use. All right. So if you were to be watching this, that's fine. That'll work just the same. Mm -hmm. If you guys were to be watching this, Yosef tries to strike at the general, misses. The general... With a sword? Yeah, with a sword. <laughs> the general, uh, I don't know if that is... Do you think the general would strike, would try to like, try to slap at him or try to shoot him? Like pull out a pistol and shoot him? I think he would slap first because it is conceivable this happens a lot with Yosef. I don't know. They said he You had riled a... him up. You, you, you accused the general of trying to assassinate Yosef. It was not if an I, accusation I, that we I made. If I recall up. correctly, yes, right, yes, and he he said that to Jonesy, and he has said it to others, and Dimitri witnessed. All right, so maybe maybe the general has this uh, this batons that they are like field marshal. Oh yeah, like a whip. Yeah, like mm. to like a horse thing. Like yeah, that's a good idea. Like you yeah, like a horse whip. Oh, also, yeah, maybe. Yeah, yeah. So, right, so he pulls that out and misses. It's a comedy of errors. Uh, Dimitri's going to rush in there. What do you think Dimitri would try to do? I wonder if he's following him. Dimitri would try to get the general to stand down. After all, Yosef is his boss. Okay, uh, I'm going to roll. And, and if he does not, I feel that Dimitri would... Either strike him with the butt of his gun or try to grapple him. Yosef or the general? No, you would try to tackle general. All right, so Dimitri looks like he's successfully trying to persuade these guys to stand down. Um... I think I'm going to roll a coolness under fire for Yosef. Or does one of you guys want to roll? Roll me a d10. I rolled last time. <laughs> Gabe or Vince? Uh, Gabe's turn. Do the eight? Uh, d10. D10, sorry. But I like Gabe. Gabe says take dueling pistols 10 paces apart. All right, so... <laughs> So Yosef kind of get calms down. Dimitri kind of helps him to calm down. Uh, the general is saying, "You're crazy! You're crazy!" I guess Adam and a couple other people show up. Yes. I wonder what they would do. Uh, I'll see if the general doesn't try to punch him. In any case, it would not be wise. Hmm. All right. Um. Yeah. All right. The general strikes Yosef. I think Adam or Dimitri would then take the general down. Maybe not shoot him, but tackle him, grapple him, something of that nature. Mm -hmm. Disarm him, definitely. Yeah, so, so let me see, like a club. But probably like, not like a full-on club, you know? I don't think the whip would be like probably like one point of damage. But I would think they would use the butt of the gun to render general unconscious if he keeps up, right? <laughs> what, then what are you gonna, gonna arrest him? I don't know. We'll see what happens. He struck Yosef. Don't do that. Yosef attacked him first. He missed. Club is two damage. Rifle butt is two damage. Okay, unarmed. Yeah, so two. So he smacks him for two. He smacks him hard with the, you know, but it's not more than that. Hmm. Yeah. All right. Um. All right. So we have we get rolled that for that. Hold that for him. All right. So, so Amy, roll me a uh, 
no, that's a squad now. Roll me a, a D8 and a D10. It is not Vince's turn? You haven't rolled for a while. You haven't rolled anything. Me? I haven't rolled. All right, roll me a D8 and a D10. Vince will do the next roll. Oh, okay. That's... All right, so Adam and the other two guys, they don't... They're not going to stand down now because they saw, they just saw what happened. I, I'm using like coolness under fire as sort mm -hmm. of a, a quote unquote willpower check. Or are you going to, are you going to not fight or fight type of thing? Clearly the general has got, has got his blood up. And now, uh, you know, the, these warder guys. Okay. Um, all right. So do you really think Adam would pistol whip the general? I think he would render him unconscious. Okay. Or arrest him. You know, I'm sure he has handcuffs or something. He would not sit idly by. No, he's not going to sit idly by. Okay. So Vince, uh, roll me a, a 2d10. <clears throat> do you agree, Vince? Well, I, I mean, I, he did make his coolness under fire, mm -hmm. so I don't, I, that, I don't know. That could either mean you could either interpret it. Well, it doesn't matter. He missed. All right, Dimitri's trying to tell him to calm down. Um, all right, so Kasha, you hear this like going on. There's no gunshots fired, but you can hear shouting. Am I close enough to run? You could run back in that direction. Who's with you? Oh, Dimitri was with you. You're by yourself? I'm by myself now. But I was just leaving and heading to where my bike is. So I was not very far. Mm -hmm. All right. But if I fall out run, I could get there. All right. So Gabe, uh, roll me a 2d8. This is for Dimitri trying to, like, restrain the general. Okay. All right. And then... Um, okay, that's it. he grabbed him. So roll me. I just might as well do a post strength. So give me a a d eight. Roll. Oops. Oops. All right. <laughs> so the general, like he kind of tries to restrain the general. Uh, the general fights back. Fights back or gets out of that grapple. Um. <laughs> I think Yosef is going to try to stab him again. He's turned. <laughs> oh, no, no. Amy, roll me 2d8. 2D8. It's like it's like funny. Oh. <laughs> that is. Like the bad day. That's like upset. that's like five points of damage. Because yeah. I'm, I'm, if I use machete, right? <laughs> that's three damage. That's five points of damage. All right, uh, Gabe, roll me a roll me a location. location. Oh no! D, <clears throat> D ten. D six. D six. Not the head. <laughs> no, he slices him in the leg. All right, so roll me a d10 for because that's a crit because a crit is a four on this. He's not wearing armor. No. Roll me a d10. Four. All right. I don't think four is lethal, but that's definitely going to incapacitate him. Oh man. Okay, so Kasha, when you run on the scene, you see Yosef is struck. The general who was kind of pulling out of a grapple with Dimitri slices him in the leg and he goes down for sure. Well, Kasha would run over and put tourniquet on. Well, we'll see what the, what it's. The... Maybe well, if actually, I got to roll. I got to, since Kasha's coming on the scene, I'm going to do. Oh, wow. He's got diamonds. Sir. <laughs> if it's a ceremonial oh my sword. gosh all right kosh you're gonna go first so you're gonna beat uh adam and crew 
Well, she just wants to stabilize him. She's so she's four. Uh, he sliced Three. him across the shin. It's not lethal. No, it's he... not lethal. No, it's a He's broken shin kidding. bone. He slices him un right under the knee, and the general kind of collapses to the ground. You know, maybe since since it's a, it's a ceremonial sword, it's not sharpened. So yeah, it just it just maybe cracks, broke. It just cracks as to the the sword or the uh... yeah. The sword broke or the shin the shin broke too. Well he he I mean he got he didn't get a one, he got two successes. So it's nothing, you know. It probably doesn't slice it, it probably like bashes it, right? So it's blunted. Well, Kasha would still have to do something. I mean, she is a doctor after all. It's probably like bent a bit a little bit. I don't know if it would break. But first things first, she will look at Yosef. Or are you gonna? Are you going to try to heal? Or are you gonna? What are you gonna try to do? Well, you said it's not life threatening, so she would <laughs> replacement. Mm -hmm. Um, she would probably just bandage it, but be more concerned about Yosef. Okay. Um. All right. So roll medical. I don't know. This is a chance, Kasha. The general's down and incapacitated. What do you want to do? I mean, he's incapacitated, but she's not going to let him bleed out, and he's not bleeding he's out. He's not bleeding out. It's not lethal. No, it's a broken. So you need medical bone. aid. Yeah. All right. So he's back up with four. Likely. But she does not him want him awake. <laughs> All right. Well, you get him back up. I mean, I mean, see. I had it's my a critical injury. Bag. I had my little bag of tricks with me from when I was treating Yosef. Well, you're have to, you'll have to do that. You said you're treating him first, so you'll have to. I know. I'm just saying I did have it with me. So our viewers know I did have my bag with me. All right. Okay. I'm going to, I'm going to let, uh, so that was, that was Kasha. She goes down there, sees what's going on, tries to get, you know, treat the the general. He's on the ground. His bone is probably broken and pretty bad, actually. Um, and then, uh, so you kind of stabilize him. He kind of comes to you a little bit as you give him like one point back. Um, so Vince, you get to decide what Adam and the two other Warta guards want to do. They go next here. Okay. Uh, do they are they, well? I guess there's some choices. Uh, seeing that the general is down, are they going to do something to him, or are they going to try to restrain Yosef? <coughs> or they might. I think that what they're going to do is come in and restrain Yosef, and then see if they need. Because they didn't see everything that went down, did they? The guard. Uh, they ran in. Well, they oh they saw. Uh, the reason, well, they saw the general strike Yosef with his riding crop. Mm -hmm. Okay. They're, they're probably going to jump in because they don't have any loyalties, do they? The guard is just it's to the crack out, right? No, their loyalties are to Yosef, this guy. Yosef. Okay. In that case, they'll probably go up to uh, one guy will probably jump in between in front of Yosef, like as a bodyguard idea. Mm -hmm. And then the other one will go up to the general to see. Um, if the, I guess try to restrain the general and whatnot, but the general's already down on the ground, but yeah, standing by. Like, do you think point point is his rifle at him or? No, uh, not not yet. But you have his like he'll if his gun has a holster, right? Like his pistol, he'll mm -hmm. unbutton it if it has a button on it. Yeah, and then like have his hand ready on his uh, secondary. They probably have just to like, see what happens. They probably have, like. AK carbines, either AKMs or AKRs. Well, in that case, he'll have it at ready, but he'll cock his rifle and then, but okay. still be at the ready. Okay. Um, so one guy stands in front of Yosef. All right. So Dimitri, Dimitri's going to try to, like, uh, not, not, not like to do damage, but like roughly kind of. And, and talking to Joseph the whole time, try to like 
push him, you know, push him back, right? To get him get him out of it. Because he also still has his sword. <laughs> um, so I guess Gabe, uh, give me like a brawling for Dimitri. So a D8 and a D10. Got it. Close quarters. Oh, nice. Okay. Yeah, no problem. He's got Yosef like in the corner, kind of pushing him back. Yosef is screaming, threatening the general with the sword. That's what you get. That's what you get. I'll kill you. I'll kill you. <laughs> the general's like looking, he's looking up, maybe with a little fear, because he sees Kasha standing over him. And then she, he says, All I care of, he says, as he as you kind of come, Stu says, I just care about keeping Krakow safe. Puts his hand up maybe in front of, you know, like if Kasha wants to like try to stab him with the scalpel or something. She doesn't even have a scalpel. Out. I know. She's got a bad reputation. All right. So Kasha, what do you want to do? And then he's Ooh. well, you're also holding his hand in front of his face because the guy's got here's the gun, you know, the gun to you know, it's Adam and the two other bodyguards. You know, one standing between Yosef and him as Dimitri pushes him back, and the other, you know, Adam and the other guard kind of standing over the general. Could I use my command or persuasion to ask everybody to just take a deep breath and get the general to the hospital? Yeah, persuasion is probably but, better, unless you're trying but, to, yeah. But she wants him to be handcuffed. I mean, it is not okay to strike yourself. Oh, yeah. Okay, yeah, it's two successes. All right, so they are they will, unless you object, Rupert, they're going to uh, pick him up and uh, drag him, arrest him. Keep his legs supported, I guess. Well, Kasha would have told them, to, don't, don't just drag him. <laughs> you think phone is broken? Yeah. Okay. All right. So the general is in the hospital. Then once he leaves, Kasia would go over to little Yosef. Mm -hmm. So look what he did to my sword. He bent it. We <laughs> will fix this sword. I think it is now. This was a lot of excitement. Let's let's get you he to. He said he was trying to kill me, so I would needed to show him. And you did. I think you definitely showed his leg, who is boss. Why don't we get you some tea and maybe lay down a little bit? Okay, roll persuasion. Should tell him that she has to go talk to Gus, anyways. Can she push? Yeah, it would give you a stress if you push. She's already stressed. Mm -hmm. Dealing with Yosef is stressful. All right. No. Uh, Yosef's going to try to push through to go after the guys taking the general to the hospital. But um, Dimitri can intervene. Dimitri, Adam. Yeah. Yeah, they, you know, they they run interference, you know. Okay. He tries they're... to push past. They kind of run interference. He definitely doesn't want to. He's not listening to you at all. No. Um, so Dimitri has to like check him and keep, you know, in in between him and the. You know, it's it's it is kind of funny. It's like he goes one way, Dimitri follows. Because the other way, Adam follows. You know, they're kind of like run like in a in a basketball drill or something like that. It looks really funny. <laughs> People are like watching and wondering what's going on. They see the general being taken, you know, because the hospital's in the in the castle, right? So yes. So so Kasha's going with them. She's going to go see Gus. There's nothing she can do. She stabilized him. Mm -hmm. She's not going to go there and. Make sure they. I guess I got to put a tell them what's going on. I let think them they figure can it out. tell. <laughs> okay. I mean, it, it, 
she requested he go to hospital within castle. She's not assigned to the castle hospital. Yeah. So she will let them be and go to Gus and tell Dimitri and Adam she will check up with them later. Maybe they can have beers with she and Ren at Nostrovia. Is that yes? Uh they don't know. <laughs> we'll see. <laughs> she will hand a little sleeping pill over to Adam that uh, maybe Marianne can give Yosef later. Okay. It'd be best to knock him out for a bit. All right, so while... The sword away. <laughs> so while Kasha goes, um, did you have, like, did you have a driver with you, though? Like, at least... Um, what's his name? Your normal driver? Brian? Yeah. Brian is with Ren. Okay. Ren does not know his way around. She has motorcycle. She did not think it was going to be dangerous for her to be in Krakow. That could be. You never it know. It could be, but she also has AK-74 pistol. <laughs> yeah. I thought she carries a shotgun, not a 74, but... She, she has one, but it is... She had to leave it behind. She has to fill it with bullets. All right, so she has an AK-74 and a pistol. That's good to know. Mm-hmm. All right, uh, Rupert, were you going to try to, I, I think you had found this place out. Were you going to try to, I think it was like in the in the botanical garden area, right? The hideout or something? Or, I think so. Or are you supposed to meet some, or when were you supposed to meet him? Do you remember? I uh, thought it was at, I think it was at by the gardens uh, at late at night. Okay, so you're going to try to maybe grab some people before that happens. Like, yeah, try to recon the area and then see okay. um, if we can try to plant a sting or something. Yeah, and Ronson, you were you still out here talking to the these guys, the the guard or the uh, um, the, or... yeah, probably um, trying to see uh, if they are taking any measures after after the. The, this um, irregulars trying to infiltrate uh, the area. Oh, you mean the ones that attack you from here? Yeah, I mean yeah. if they are going going to man the 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 places that were that were uh, unmanned. <laughs> uh, uh, I don't. Well, they say they have to just run. They have to run it up the chain of command. But I guess that's a. Uh... The headquarters that is the headquarters. I can't remember if it's D or B. B. B was the headquarters. D as in David. Oh, uh, this was at like a, a headquarter area. Yes, because it was closed, and that's where we left the dead bodies. Oh, oh that's a checkpoint, actually. The C are the checkpoints. B is yeah. C okay. Uh, A are the perimeter posts. They're always manned. Mm-hmm. Except these are the the seas here are always manned in the castle area, right? But they fall back at night in the city at large. So all these seas um, are not, and then the the D is not either. The D is like a machine gun checkpoint, um, and then oh, so the, B is B is the the headquarters, oh, the town okay. command post. Okay, I had the the D was the 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 headquarters. Okay. Yeah, it's well according to the city's district. Is, you know, that's a command post, and this is the uh, like a machine gun, like a heavier fortified machine gun emplacement. Mm -hmm. But it says at night they're not. All right, so you could probably go there. Let's do that. Where are they all bound? Yeah, so there it has bunkers, a dug-in tank. There's a guard tower. The bunkers and barricades surround an inner compound with a number of sandbagged gun pits. Um, there is a howitzer battery and two mortar batteries. 
the howitzers and mortar batteries are unmanned at the moment, mm -hmm. but the guns are covered to protect them. During the day, other oh, during the day, um, yeah. Oh yeah, so this is manned at night, clearly the headquarters. I mean the battalion post, but. All right. Even at night, they have people. Okay. Oh, because you left the bodies. Oh, you left the bodies here at D, but Ooh, they found them in the morning. Okay. All right. And I'm going to see. Make sure it's right. Oh, yeah. Yeah. So this is like a, this is like a norm, like a, um, a platoon headquarters and one squad are at C. And then here, this has like a machine gun. Squad okay. on top of that. All right, so you go to B, you let them know what's going on. Uh, they say, yeah, you know, people at night, well, we can't really protect, and they don't have, you know, we don't have the, they say they don't have the manpower. You can make a empathy persuasion roll. Okay. Oh. Yeah, probably tell them that we can give a hand manning D, the MG emplacement that covers those fields to the south. Oh, like you want to man D here? Okay. Mm -hmm. you, have you have enough people? Okay. Uh, well, roll the persuasion first and see how we, what you... Like, I'm using this as kind of like a insight, okay. quote-unquote insight. Ooh. Uh, mm. I, I guess that I, would be recon. You could do empathy recon. I think recon is insight in this game. Okay, I got empathy D and recon C. I can try empathy and okay. Let's see how it goes. Mm -hmm. Oh, well, what was the dice for the recon? A D eight. Uh, recon. That's recon. Okay. Yeah, D eight. Uh, yeah, yeah. I guess when it's like on the character sheet at the bottom, you can, you can, on the bottom of the first page, there's a way you can like, if I if I want to use like, if we want to use a different attribute or a skill, you can set it up that way. Anyway, so you got a D8 and it's a D8 oh, and a D6 okay. anyway. So, That's okay, fine. Okay, got it. So, All right, so, so, you know, he's not really, so your first Im impression of this guy is you kind of, as he's talking to him, uh, he's like, I mean, it's kind of BS that they don't have the manpower to do it, but just not been given the orders or it's a lack of, and for whatever reason, um, I, I don't know. It's a lack, you feel, I mean, it's a lack of leadership, really. But it, when you offer to do that, he's like, um, it's like, well, yeah, I guess I could talk to your commanding officer. And coordinate with him who's your commanding officer <laughs> our commanding officer uh isn't ronson a tank a vehicle commander i mean <laughs> <laughs> yeah i i'm my commanding officer <laughs> you tell him that <laughs> i mean kasha is running the show but she's not here so <laughs> well kasha is really more she's a civilian though really she's not yeah she's a civilian so i mean uh, florian is well florian's a major but i don't know so i guess here the why florian's do you, carl why do you say that kasha is a civilian she is a captain yeah but that they're captain in the polish army yes the cap captain in it, the it, polish it's like army a, it's like a militia at this point it's not necessarily Recognized yeah. title and a few other yeah, things. Yeah, Rupert's a lieutenant. Mm -hmm. Kolbolkov is a captain, but also German and Russian. So I guess he's NATO. Uh, there's there's a Aubrey, which is a lieutenant. Florian is, is a major. But I don't know. I mean, it's, I, I don't know. Never, that's a question I've never really asked, like Ronson or Rupert for that matter. Do you guys follow yeah. a chain of command or? To I a mean, point, yeah. There's no, no. There's no uh, chain of command in the group. 
per se. I mean, I guess it's I've... by committee, honestly. The group, how it works. So I guess one of us, but I mean, it it varies. Loose. Yeah. Well, I mean, you're still probably wearing your. I mean, maybe you put on some sergeant stripes just for fun, funsies, but you know. <laughs> I mean, he's seeing what whatever private or sergeant stripes you have on there, and that's what he's looking. What this um, equivalent of a lieutenant is saying, you know. I they, so, there's 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 no chain of command. I mean, do you want my help or not? I mean, this it's just the symbol. <laughs> I mean, you'll you'll make sure that there's no sh there's no like uh, trouble between here and the checkpoint and checkpoint along that road along this road at night. Is that what you're saying? Do we have to pay well, you? If you can get if you can get the ammo for my tank, I will I'll be more than thankful. You're gonna drive your tank up and down the street at night. I have a tank. I'm not. I'm not saying I'm driving the tank up up and down. But if you if if you're willing to pay, that's what I that's what I that's what I need now. Because well, I'll, I'll have to. How do I? He looks very confused. I mean. That's I can't make those kind of decisions, but you know we definitely need the help. Uh, if he goes and gets he goes and gets like a since a battalion, the battalion would be it's a company. I mean, I got a yeah, tank and a, and a and a BMP, and I'm offering you help. I mean, no, I I I do I I get it. I like the help, but you know, but he, he points towards the castle. You know, like that's you know, it's but that's that kind of decision is. He, he goes, well, just wait here, just wait here. So he goes and finds like a, like a, a like a, like a the equivalent of like a master sergeant, or a uh, at least a, a a, you know, a ca a, a someone captain, with, someone yeah. with more stripes. Yeah, someone with more stripes or more bars, right? Right. So the company, the company commander comes out. Uh, he's like the probably the day company day shift guy because you know they have, rotate the companies through at the battalion HQ. I guess the battalion HQ would probably be like a light a light colonel. Um, and you got so give me so give me a, a commander persuasion. Let's see who comes out. Someone will come out, but whether it's an NCO or what, you know, we'll figure that out. You want All to right. push it? You can push it. Okay. All right. So an NCO comes out. It's like, uh, Because I, I know who you guys are. I appreciate what you've done in the city. I mean, I say I say yeah, but we got to check. You know, we got to. I don't want to piss off the wrong person. You know, he kind of he kind of reemphasizes that. Um, he reemphasizes that they just had like a you know big purge and they're infiltrated by the KGB and you know okay so um, we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna go then and 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 you know where to find us I don't know where we are staying but uh. Yeah, I mean, like your compound is your compound is here, right? Where that is. Oh, for the DF, DF casing. Okay. Yeah. 
I just don't know where where where, where we we are going to be. But uh, I'll give, I'm going to give you at least a name. This guy. People are will continue to try to pass those fields at night. Yeah. So, well, that, that is we know we'll note that for sure. Um, well, so you either we'll contact you to help out, or I guess we'll have to. So his uh, his name is uh, Adrian Bukowski, Sergeant Adrian Bukowski. But I'll give you the right rank to go so awesome. Officers. <laughs> they have they better have less commission officer. They definitely have generals. Oh, okay, okay. Uh, let's do the yes, senior sergeant. Uh, okay. so stars starsky, like starsky and Hutch, actually. Mm -hmm. Oh, so starsky probably means senior. That's interesting. <laughs> this is his own. Starsky, Sirjan, Adrian Bukowski. Bukowski. Yep. So let's get OR. That's like an uh, E5. Okay. Um... Senior, sar senior sergeant. So he's like a company, company sergeant. I I give him the frequency we are just okay. in case in case he needs help. All right. Uh he goes, Well, we don't have like a night shift for another so like they're the day shift or whatever. So we don't have a night night shift for another two weeks, but um I mean at the very least in a couple of weeks. I I I want your help. <laughs> We're on the night shift, but hopefully before that. Okay. Ho hopefully you you won't you won't need our help. But uh. And and I'll ask because I have some friends in in um in engineering. What what kind of tank do you have? Uh, T seventy two. Okay. Let's see what we can scrounge up. Okay. okay. Nice. All right. Um, well, give me five minutes and then we'll jump to the meeting with Stanislav. Okay. So, Amy, uh, Kasha is going to make her way towards Gus. Gus to his private fortress called the Zamek, a fortified Wait. townhouse in Posel Poselska. Which I don't know if that is on here even. I don't think so. But it was not far. It was like on down here somewhere. In the black area. Oh, down here? 
I think it's like down here somewhere. The other, it's on the other map. It's on the the close in map. No, the other map that you had the airport on, with the fingers. I don't think so. Let me check. No, it's not there. It doesn't matter. It was south of the castle, but not far. Mm -hmm. I yeah, it's I not... don't think it was this far, but I think it was like here, but down here somewhere. You have this blacked out area. I I can't see it. I think it's actually. It's actually around this area here. Let me see. Anyway, so you make your way there. Mm -hmm. uh, roll me a 2d6, 2D6, please. That makes sense. Five and a one. All right, it is uneventful. Yeah, it makes yeah. sense because it's near the distillery, and also near like a a major a, a checkpoint with the machine gun, which is okay. curious. All right, but yeah, That's so it's like it's like in this area. Isn't that where the tea room is over here? No, I that is. Um, no, I thought the, the tea warehouses room was over this way. No, it's like it's in the in the Strodemesh. Okay. Strod Mish, whatever, how you pronounce it. I gotta learn how to pronounce these Polish names after <laughs> two years, one would think, but it's so <laughs> no. weird. So weird. Okay. Yeah, so it's not far. Just go over there. Yes. To the place. And you present yourself there at the gate of the castle so how does how does it go at the gate of the castle i thought i was going to see gus no he has his own little fortress oh like his own okay little, let's say it's like this area like this here it makes sense okay. she would basically so Ron, say, ronson's nearby just in case yeah. um she <laughs> would basically say that uh she was told that he was friends with little Yosef and that he would be a good contact for me to to talk to about things I'm needing off of shall we say the not so black black market okay uh well um go ahead and give me a persuasion roll so, I mean it's there's like layers you don't meet him straight away but uh, you meet this person comes out. He is a um, a large, rough-looking fellow. Uh, you recognize him as this guy named uh, Vaslav Vaslav Kokozinski. They call him Coco on the street. Coco, Coco. yeah, he is like Gus's right-hand man. Okay. So he says, <clears throat> he goes, I know who you are. You are the spokesperson of that American group. Why does everybody keep calling me an American? I am not an American. It's mostly Americans, though, right? I am Polish. My husband is Polish. I am somewhat, but not completely Russian. It's only by happenstance that I am Russian. I had no control over that happened before I was born. So he they invite you in. You know, I know it'd be perfect. Would be like this, like triangle here. We could be the triangle if you wish to be the triangle. I don't see what it looks like on the other map, but it's probably not on the other map, which is fine. But uh, yeah, so um, that's cool. So I wonder if I wonder if they kept Stanislav in the fourth edition product. I'll have to look. In any mm -hmm. case, so so he they let you in the compound, let you sit in like a waiting room. 
So, so what can, and Coco asks you, what can Gus, what can Gus do for you? Well, it's a two-folded question. I need some things off of the market, but there's some other things information-wise I think he might find interesting. And I would love to discuss with him. He will talk to me, yes? I don't know what kind of information. There are different bits of information that Gus would be interested in. And how do I know I can trust you? I don't know who you are. I, I, am, will... Co I am Coco. I am Gus's right-hand man. But I don't know that. Okay. I am telling Mis you that. Mr. Coco Puff. Let me ask you. Gonna you. Say, you're going to call him Coco Puff? He's a big <laughs> she, dude. She will say it and then like poke at him like jokingly. Little Coco Puff. It looks like that. I put it in the Discord. The, she would say, you know, I, I am concerned of certain things. First of all, you look a little bit like my friend Vokov. Yeah, that's he what he looks like. Little. Little like Volkov, but more mad. That's Coco. That Coco Puff. Yeah. Anyways, um, I have little laundry list of things that I was hoping you could get me, like a 20 millimeter cannon. I need some ammo for it, the NATO kind, for my little German. I would love some ammo for my t He's not little. You aren't even there to hear that. And I would love. I think to... Volkov calls you the little German, though. <laughs> he does call everybody calls I, you. Is Rupert pretty big? What is Rupert a big dude? Oh, I mean, he may not be big as in terms of mass, but I mean, he's a he's a slightly above average height, you know. Okay, well, so then it's a joke that Volkov says my little my little German. I'm everybody for, you calls know, for the you record. the little man, the little German. Yeah, and then if you could find a couple of heat seeking missiles. For my hand, I would be most appreciative. But the other thing I need to talk to him about is I know I was told that he had help in getting little Yosef into command. And I need to talk to him about the general. The general attacked little Yosef today. And little Yosef had to protect himself. And huh. he is very sick. And I was wondering if we could talk about I know there was a purge of the KGB. And I understand. I do not know how you guys feel about the KGB. But I feel as though if they could be, you know, converted to KGB, they can be converted to good people again. I he kinda, he, he ra As you watch him, he kind of raises an eyebrow when you ask about um, when you when you say that you know that he put that Gus kind of put Yosef in power mm -hmm. which uh, leads me to believe that the real person who runs Krakow is Gus but I can I can keep up the rouse with little Yosef but that's not as important as General Nalan Hospital he has very badly broken leg so you're talking. You know, you're talking to not talking to Gus. You're talking to Coco. I'm talking yeah. to Coco Puff. Yes, yeah. I know this. And I am saying this because I do not know what Gus would also like to do. I I have things I can suggest, but I would rather discuss it with him too. And what is a free? Because I hear things. I would Just, hope you do. I hear that there is a big another battalion sized force coming we have a few of our Krakow. closest friends and horses coming along with a torpedo boat and you know many others that is inconsequential i i need to find out from gus i know there is supposed to be committee running krakow we all know committee not running krakow Gus running Krakow. Yosef thinks he's running Krakow. We know that's not true. You and I can level on that. Boy, you look like a KGB officer. Are you sure you were not KGB? Because I am not KGB. Are you sure you've got the nose? 
Anyways, goes, that is inconsequential. Does he, he says, you talk a lot. I'm a woman. We always talk a lot. He goes, wait here. Do you want anything to drink? I appreciate the offer, but I do not think you can offer me vodka. Oh, we got vodka. We got other things. We have wine, vodka. Why don't you surprise me with what you think I can drink? Okay. He kind of brings, he brings like a bell, like a a bell and some people come in and he says something and he leaves, they leave, they come back with uh, uh, some spirits and a fancy little glass, like a snifter. No, you brought gorgeous. So, um, but he's not, he doesn't come back. They just, the people here just like look at you and hand you, you know, whatever it is. Brandy, probably. It's good work. All right. So he comes back in a little bit and he says, well, Goose is intrigued that you know all this stuff. You know, it is dangerous to know these kind of things, right? Uh, if you know things, then you'll know I am not exactly innocent, little girl. You came here by yourself. That's dangerous. If one cannot care for themselves, they are always in danger, are they not? Mm -hmm. oh, they probably did take your AK, by the way, at the door. Just... That is fine. I did not have it loaded. Um... She took that out on the bike. She knows better. Okay. Um, if they didn't take that, she would be most upset. <laughs> that'd be kind of, that would be like a ridiculous oversight on my part. All right. So then Gus says, he asks you, well, sorry, Coco says, um, well, what can you do for the boss? What is it the boss wants me to do that's for? What Gus, that's what Goose means anyway. Because what, what can the free crack have? coalition do with do for the boss also have you heard of operation reset i have heard little bits of it i had contact prior to war named jonesy he was always working on operation reset what is it that you need to know about operation reset goose would be interested and knowing, know, more, and knowing more about it, you might have some buyers here and there. Well, first of if all. If you have any information. Well, my little German friend. I heard that the KGB knew Jonesy. something. I'm sorry? I heard that the KGB knew something. They're still, those rats still haven't all been purged in the city, just to, to let you know. I am fully aware of it. Need, but there's also, well, I have my ways of rousing. There are KGB yeah. and DIA. He said there's even Israeli intelligence running around this town. Yes, I know. They're part of NATO. At least they think they're part of NATO. I don't know. They are all bombing everybody. What is it that you think I am? Maybe we should start there. Because you, you're a leader among this free Krakow coalition that has okay. single-handedly destroyed a plot to overthrow what Goose has put in place, this dastardly KGB. You have, there are rumors that you have done things down the river. Their trade has, trade is booming. There seems to be talk of some sort of alliance along the river, which is yes. good for everyone. Yes, I brought so you. Clearly, people. you have influence. Goose would like you to spread that influence. I would like to. Up do. and down the Vistula. But I do have secret to tell Goose. But I wish only Give me to another share persuasion. With him. Give me another persuasion. Okay. But first, 
You brought me brandy, but you're not going to drink any? So you haven't drunk any? I'm asking if Coco Puff is going to have any. Kasha is half Russian. I think her blood is made of vodka. Uh, she did she, drink. Is she going to drink some? She drank it. She drank it? Give me an, uh, what is it? What's that roll that you have to make? Saving throw versus poison. Saving throw versus poison. Saving throw versus poison? <laughs> yeah. Isn't it stamina? A stamina check. Ooh. Ooh. I handle my liquor better than my husband does. They got a swing. He is yeah. Polish. So it's definitely boy. it's definitely uh they're testing you or they're trying to drug you. That's for sure. Well she will lean over to Kopo and say, you know, if you are going to drug me, you should probably pick a drug I have not been trained with. I have some. I can help you with that if you need. But could try. May I talk to Gus now? He kind of narrows his eyes. Why don't you have some? I drank it. Or are you scared? They think you are scared. They didn't think big men like yourself would be scared. He does. He kind of laughs. He doesn't drink any, though. Hmm. I knew you were scared. Scared little boy. Oh, really? You're going to tell him that? She's goading at him. See what you're gonna, you're gonna goad him. Okay. She's playing around with him. Why not? Huh. I'll let the cards decide. <laughs> That's okay. not so. There's an action card. It's not initiative, but it gives me like a general demeanor. There's a cool table in the referee's handbook. I think I think clubs is okay. Well, especially a low club like that. Face cards are dangerous. Like when I drew for Julian that one time, he got <laughs> yeah. Julian is whole nother problem. Yeah, yeah. Uh clubs. But she will tell Coco, she's like, You you may not know who my husband is, but my husband is brother to Litera Celestia, Julian. They have known him many years. Hmm. All right. You see him like ball his fists. Why? You're going he... to hit me. Yeah. I thought a real man wouldn't hit a woman. All right. Um... Are you gonna? I guess command would be like what it would be necessary. I can't think persuasion would work against this guy. Well, she has command. Yeah, roll me command. She has command. Let's see. She has a B, a B. She will push. She is feeling the effects of the poison. Okay. Five and a three. I don't think that's very good. All right. So he stand. He stands up, and he kind of raises his fist to like you know do a backhand hit. But then the door behind you opens, and someone says, "Coco, we do not hit women." And you see. Um, You must pick up. She will give Coco a little kiss on the cheek. Are you serious? He's going to hit you. <laughs> <laughs> give him a little kiss on the cheek. 
She will say you are a good man. He says, and he, then she this, will is walk Gu- this is what Gus looks like. Comes up, it's Gus. Lots of pictures. Yeah. I see when they put up. Coco Gus? Snarl. Like Coco Snarls. snarls. Snarls at me? He snarls and he kind of, you know, if you try to kiss and he kind of flinches back. Just, just a little kiss on the cheek. I'm not kissing him on the lips. I'm and not then Gus, Gus says, let us talk. And he kind of motions you to follow him. Certainly. Right. I like him. He makes me laugh. It is he's nice gonna, to. He's gonna kill you if he finds you in the alley. That's what he's gonna do. Most likely, that's what most men want to do. Anyways, right. I have little secret to share with you that I don't think Coco Puff would like very much. But so he he, he kind of leads you, and you know there's there's a few guards here and there. Actually, probably if you look back, you see Coco like grab the sifter glass and crush it, you know, in anger. And then uh, you go to the garden and he uh, he says, uh, Coco is a brute. Do not piss him off. For your own for your own good. I appreciate your concern. Because I well. But did he tell you that the general attacked Yosef? Because I've heard there is some co- there is some commotion in the castle. My yes. con- my suspicions are confirmed. Yes, that is exactly what happened. I stabilized him. They are holding him in hospital ward. I give you this information because I think maybe you might want to, shall we say, eliminate the problem. And if you don't wish to then I might be able to find others that would. And it would be most beneficial for both of us. He says, I do not know if that would do well for the morale of the Ormo. I do not but know enough. Is, I do not know if, enough of the other officers under the general. After the after you all he blames you, I guess. He blames you guys. After you all got rid of some of his key men who happened to be KGB agents. I did not get rid of them. And I can prove to you why Poskowitz, I did not. Lieutenant Poskowitz, a Major Vladislav Kobeki. Poskowitz. I will tell you this much. Because I trust I can share this with you and it will go nowhere else. But I am KGB myself. However, I am trying to be better. I was raised as a sparrow. I was an assassin for the KGB. And I still hold all of my titles. If there are KGB here, they will have to You are in charge now? The KGB? I thought, it I, was, don't know. Was, I thought it was someone else. I know you eliminated Makarov. I did not do it personally, but he was not a good person. Mount Malakov. But we, you but eliminated we have Malakov. Other issues. I know you said you do not know the others that are in the Oromo. No, they, well, no, I don't. The KGB, we're talking KGB, I thought. But if the general. What shall we say taken care of? Whether it be incapacitated, jailed, takes the eternal sleep, I don't care what that decision is. But if he was out of way, who would you want to take his place? Because you know as well as I do, you run Krakow. All right, so who, so roll me a persuasion check. How about the persuasion? Yeah. Because I'm using it like as an opposed role, but I'm not telling you. I'm rolling in secret. I see. Eight. He asks again, so you are in charge of the KGB in Krakow now? Not officially, but KGB on and to itself has been disbanded. 
We have some friends of ours that are coming into town tomorrow. Yes, I and, hear. Yes, and I would be happy to introduce you. But I think they can be useful in helping to guard city as well, help build it back to where it needs to be. I would love to see Krakow be the center of Poland again and have peace everywhere. I think everybody wants peace. My husband is brother to Cilicia, to Julian. I don't know anybody in Krakow that likes Julian. To be honest, I don't think I like him either. But he's brother-in-law, so I can't say anything bad to his face. You know how that goes. Are you married? He says, no, I am not married. Oh, then you don't understand the pain of an in-law. Anyways, Julian, I hope Florian can take care of him. If not, I would hate to have to kill my brother-in-law. I, I don't want to. But if we have to go to war, we have to go to war. War can be good for business. War can be good for business. Speaking of which, I need some 20 millimeter cannon fire for my NATO tank, for my little German. Two heat-seeking missiles for my hind. And some ammo for my T-72. If you can get that, I'm sure we can work out a way to make it mutually beneficial. Then they feel like I'm talking around in circles. Well, a good, something that, it, that little Yosef is good at is he shields many of my activities from the general. You're willing to eliminate the general then? We can eliminate the problem. I will find... I will find KGB. They are not happy with him. But I am sure between us and the KGB, general will not be a problem. I am not suggesting just that and not killing him unless that is what you wish. Because then I think we make martyr out of him. He says, I doubt it. I will, get, the... I will get back to you on that. But perhaps... Perhaps that might be a way to, well. But here is my little secret for you, other than just KGB. Most people do know I am KGB. Florian and I brought back the Black Madonna and have instilled it with the Pope. I would like to have big festival, maybe February? And have everybody. Then why are you telling me this? Because I know you are the one that runs Krakow. Because I'm not a religious man. I run gambling and prostitution rings, sell drugs. I'm in the arms business. I'm not a good man. Look at the, t he, po he points back to where, you know, to where Coco was, who knows where he is now. Because those are the kind of people that I have. I do not think, believe because anybody... You, because I do not care for some sort of religious icon from an older time. You don't have to like the icon. But it is the icon that would unify Poland. You and I both know this. As long as I can make money. I would not stand in that way. But you and I both know you run Krakow. So if I want any chance at having life here in Krakow, or having the alliance that I wish, or anything of that nature, it is your permission, like the Godfather. Do you remember those movies from that America? The Godfather series? They made me laugh. Anyways, just a little side note. Did you ever watch football? Do you like football? He shakes his head. Not really. Well, cause I American would like or otherwise. Would they both play with their feet? No, actually, I don't think Americans play with their feet as much. They don't know. They call it soccer. They're weird. Anyways, I would like to get the pitch 
you know, put back together, maybe have somewhere the children can play. If we do all of that, that makes you seem very much Wait, like... I know. I've figured it out. Figured what out? You ever heard of that game Monopoly? Yes. It takes forever to play. And they always wanted me to be the dog. They did not want to be the dog. I always wanted to play with the hat. Why do you ask about Monopoly? Because I would like a Monopoly in this city. There is a merchant. His name is Heinrich Rapaki. He owns the Nostrovia. He's an American. No, that's different. Person. Different one. That is... Henry. That is Hen Heinrich Haldecki, Rapaki. Yeah, he is a merchant. He deals in arms and other things. Liquor mainly. Because uh, it'd be good if your group gets rid of him. Blame him for bad things that happen in Krakow. We have not erupted into large scale violence, but uh, yeah. So if I broke our peace, that is happy? <laughs> I'd like to be in charge of the convoys that travel to other cities. Repeki runs those convoys. How about you eliminate my problem with the general and I can help you with your problem. So who's going to replace who is going to replace the general then? I don't know. I was hoping you could tell me. Well, you got rid of one of his people that could have. There's so many to choose from. The engineering battalion is the biggest battalion. They I guess would that, seem I guess as that colonel they... would be that colonel would be senior. But so he's an see. engineer, not a. But maybe controllable. I will get back to you on that. You get me a name of who you want to be in charge, and we can come to meeting. I am sure of it. Would okay. you know where the other KGB operatives are? Because maybe I can get them to the table. No. They've hmm. kind of hidden underground since uh, you all killed the first one. It wasn't exactly all me. Because I think we are done here. Darling. I will be in touch. I am sure you will be. But do you have a problem with me having little festival? That's fine. I appreciate it. And you know where we are staying. And oh, maybe yes. you can come to dinner one of these nights. Meet my husband. I don't think so. Why? Because you don't like football or you don't like borscht? I make good borscht. I don't like people. I have no choice but to like them. But anyways, you be safe. I, I will get you notes if I need anything. But he's, already, said, he's already walking off. Heinrich and his last name was? Ropaki. Ropaki. Okay. And you said Ronson was nearby, so Tashia will put good over to where Ronson is. Yeah, he's over here. Yeah, it's not far. Yeah, Should roll a uh, roll. Uh, but if you go over there, Ronson's kind of talking. Uh, you know, probably talking by now, talking shop. You know, looking at probably. the the howitzers and the mortars and stuff like that. What do you want? There's no tanks. Uh, Ronson and Kasha can roll recon. Recon. Mm -hmm. Ready? Um, where, where, where am I? Eight. Yep. You want to push that? Yeah. Let's okay. See. All right, you are um you're definitely being followed up from the compound. People Me? on foot. 
yeah, as you yeah, most likely. people on foot. So roll me, can roll me 2d6. Tasha is assuming that if she can get them off guard, she will turn around and talk to them. Six and a one. Let's set the party that way. Yeah, they look like, you know. Is it Coco Puff? No. Okay. But it's probably people that are, you probably saw a couple of them in the compound. You know, there's guard, there are guards, gangers, you know, everywhere. Mm-hmm. She so you bronze. see people, Bronson, you see people following. She Tasha. would turn around. But she's on her bike. She's on her, like, motorcycle. But she would turn back and, and head up to where they are and say, are you returning my gun to me now? Oh, you have your, I mean, they, they gave you your gun back. Yes. No, Coco Puff, just Fruit Loops. <laughs> she would just turn around and say, you should do a better job of following people. You are very easy to hear. And drive back over to where Ronson is. Okay. Well, as soon as you get close to the compound and you hit in that direction, um, Ronson, do you tell do you tell the guards here that about that, or you see, or what do you do? Um, so Kasia is driving towards where I'm. Yeah, she's around. driving towards the where you're at at the headquarters. So probably like through here, from here to mm -hmm. from the triangle to B, where you are. So she's driving there, and she turns around, says something to some people. They, like, pretend like uh, she's not talking to them. So you see this going on. And when she drives towards where, towards the, the headquarters, uh, what's... Uh... Those people, uh, what they're doing, they keep coming or they just oh, no, uh, they, turn around? They, they turn around. Okay, okay. Who, oh, so when she comes near, um, so who who were your friends? Oh, that are Gus's people. They were just making sure that I was safe getting to where I was going. They are of no consequence. But I do have news for you, Mr. Ronson. I think I have gotten you ammo for your T-72. Oh, okay. Um, yeah, that's really, really good news. Yes, Gus is working on it for us. There's a little bit of something that we need to do to help him out, but it is not anything we cannot handle. Okay. But who is uh... your friend that you are talking to? Um, right, just the sergeant's yeah. probably gone back to his duties, but you know, you're talking to some, some, yeah, yeah. they were uh, mining the, the mortar, so the howitzer. Um, yeah, I tell Kasia what happened with the uh, with the uh, irregulars that trying to get into that. Uh, I was talking to this uh, senior sergeant here. Uh, we were trying to figure out the chain, what chain of command the the, the FKC has. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever is most important to you. You are now tank commander. You lead your own garrison, my that's what <laughs> That's what I told him. <laughs> Was there a question about that? No, he was trying to figure out uh, how to how to pass orders. I could certainly down his, help him down his chain of command to get some get some ammo for for my tank. Um, well, as if, you know, if... we have the little German unit. 
then you have the tanker men, and then you know Volkov and Vlad have the air force, and then Ren and I have you know whatever else is left, whatever you need. But if you need a title, give yourself a title. I don't much mind, and I would back you up on it. Do you need more stripes? I think we should uh, get you more stripes. Maybe, yeah. <laughs> not that I not that I mind much about the about rank. But uh what can we do for this uh, this guy that you were talking to? You guys are probably like heading back to yes. here while you're talking. Yeah. Yes. Well, he said he would like me to look up this Heinrich Rapolsky. But that name sounds so familiar. I think maybe the little German said it to me too. I will have to ask him. But I apparently... The, I think the dead German actually met him. But well, I've heard the name before, but maybe Rupert knows him now. Why not? Anyways, he said Heinrich. He runs guns and he runs alcohol all throughout the city, making it not so easy for it to be controlled. So maybe helping him pick a different city to go to would be good. Maybe he'll more enjoy, shall we say, Celestia? They can run laps around Julian. I don't care. Between you and me, Ronson, I love my husband. I could do without my brother-in-law. Okay. All right. Uh, yeah, so you, you, get, you get back to the compound. You um, touch base with everyone. Update them. What's going on? Uh I the, Would I have picked up my husband, or is he still hanging with the Pope? No, I mean by now that's probably like I say I just fast forward time unless someone wants to do something really important. But uh, I guess Rupert, you'll let him know at at dinner about your appointment. Yeah. Okay. Maybe. Maybe. Yes. Yes, I will. Okay. Rupert, what can we help you with? You there know is a meeting tonight. That might be a good idea for some of us to attend. However, they don't think we're meeting with them. Uh, they don't know that they're meeting with us. They're, they're meeting with somebody else that might be able to give us some more information on what's going on in the underlings of Krakow. Uh, Does yeah, the Volkov name said, him? yes, my little German has infiltrated the KGB. That Call would be little. very good. No. I'm not little. <laughs> what's your what's your like strength and stuff? Well, I'm not like massive. Like I'm not a power builder, but I mean like. Well, what's your strength? Close um, to six you... feet tall. Okay. Is it a B or is it an A or is it a? Right, let me pull it up. My strength is an A. Oh, it's oh, you're big, dude. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, it's I told you I'm not joke. little. Just bulk up, because it is just an expression. I know you are not little. You are big like that plow, black plowman. Then uh, you see Rupert just looks at him confused, like tilted in his head. Then why call me little? <laughs> it's just an expression. It is term of endearment. Bulk up. I met the guy. How do you fit in that tank if you're so big? He fooled himself. What do you in think, man's the gun? <laughs> then I flex a little bit when I do it. Okay. <laughs> but Volkov, I met a guy. His name is Coco, and he works for Gus. And you know what? I called him Coco Puff. He's like a little tiny Coco Puff, but he's See, not that, little that, or that tiny. That nickname makes sense, but he calls me little, and I'm not little. I'm confused. That does make no sense. Well, Why what nickname do you want to have? Oh, okay. Everybody calls me the American, and I am definitely not an American. Yeah, you're bigger than you're definitely bigger than Volkov if we're using that. Yeah, you and Ronson are like big dudes. That's what I got a tank. <laughs> yeah. The VMP was too small. Too small. 
Diaz is very upset and crying because you said that her PMP is not good enough. <laughs> That's okay. Diaz has been working on the getting the generator up and running. He never said anything about good or bad. He just said there wasn't as much lake room. Well, I forgot Different. to ask Gus for the water pump. I will have to ask other Henry at Nostrovia for pump. Yeah, so uh, Wilkinson probably comes in at some point and says, hey, uh, uh, Kasha, he almost called you boss, but they try not to. Um, they got Kasha... Um, Remember, like when the KGB, before we took took him out, and there are people watching our compound, people watching our compound again. They are probably Gus's men. Why not invite them in? Or I can go talk to them. I'd rather leave them alone for now. But it's just the mafia. You don't have to worry. They're not as powerful as I mean, you might think. Well, we can, we can get rid of them if you want. I don't think so. I am more concerned because Gus gave me the name Heinrich Robucky. Have you heard this name? Yeah, uh, he hasn't, but he'll ask around. You probably ask uh, the Nostrovi guy. Most likely. Halecki. Does my my Henry. big German man know? Heinrich or Pecky, because you don't like it when we call you little German. I don't mean I don't mind you calling me German. It just I'm not little. That's the only thing. <laughs> it is the term of endearment. And it still makes no sense. It is like it is like that it is like that American cartoon Robin Hood. The big bear is named Little John. Yeah, because he he, he, young, he was the youngest in his family, hence Little John. Makes sense. <laughs> but he's big. Yeah. But at one point, he was young. That's what they called him Little John, is when he was a kid. You didn't so, know me when I was a kid, so I'm not a level of German. <laughs> Russians are so precise. But he's Russian, not he's Russian. He's No, German. Germans are so precise, he says. Yes. This is why we excel. <laughs> I think I don't think Volkov, I don't think Germans understand irony. No, we understand irony. We just they ignore it. We do not have time for frivolous. Would you rather I call you Schnitzel? I don't know. What do you want to be called? You can, I like Schnitzel. Schnitzel is delicious. Call right. you little schnitzel. So we're gonna. So what do you want? You want Wilkinson to keep a watch on these guys and not and eliminate them, or just keep a watch on them? Just keep a watch, because okay. if they are Goose's men, then they're keeping an eye on us to see if we're doing what we said. If they are the KGB, I need to speak to them. No, nah, they're they're not KGB. <laughs> they're too obvious. What might be funny is if you take some little coins out to them and say alms for the poor to them and give it to them. That would be funny. It would probably cause a fight. but Right, Schnitzel? You don't think that would be funny? I say we either ignore them or we confront them. If we confront them, it will probably be a fight. Just ignore them. All right. So let's uh, go out to over here. So who's going? Ren will go. Kasha will go. All right. And Rupert, are you going to go out in the open or do you want, are, are you going to hide or, or is Volkov or Vlad going to be your, your bait? Volkov doesn't mind being the bait. Volkov is always Volk itching Volkov, for I want to look this KGB, I want to look this KGB mofo in the face and then punch it. Volkov doesn't like KGB. Maybe he's not the best one to walk in with you then, Robert, because I need the KGB. Well, I think he's meeting maybe one or two people, so we're going to keep that in mind and then have the rest hidden. Okay. So who's who's going to meet him and who's going to hide? And I guess, are you taking any vehicles or what, how's it, how are you doing it? You might have a technical just hiding in the side. Okay. You don't want to have nothing too much there. All right. So... Any Who sniper? do you want to go up with you then? We need a sniper, so we'd so be, be a good idea. 
but Florian yeah. can snipe, and yeah. Florian will be there. Florian and, and Tops. You want to take, mm -hmm. Yeah, Florian Tops Wilkinson, but Wilkinson, yeah. And Signy can also snipe. Oh, Signa too. Yeah, I thought Signa was out there. Isn't the aren't those guys out there at the airport? With the yes, other... but we would have had time to bring them in. They're only like an hour away. Not less than an hour, but. I and mean... Signy, Signy would have come with them when they came up originally because she is tired of sleeping with all those men. She would rather have a bed. All right. So you have like who? So you want to take multiple snipers? Is that what you want to take? That's a lot of people. No, no, no. Just we want to take one at most, and then someone else that can maybe snipe and do something else. Okay. Florian can snipe and do other things. And, and then that's have fine. A, and then Signa, Signa and can Plasha snipe. can sneak really well. And Ronson's going to be on the gun on the technical, I guess. So do you want... You, if you need the... Uh, we'll call, we'll go. Support, and then, I can, yeah. I can and then you want Diaz to drive, or do you want um, the other guy, Hicks? Brian would rather drive. Okay, Brian's driving. Then. Yeah, yeah. Probably, I mean, Diaz is still working. I mean, it's gonna take some time to get everything set up for the mm -hmm. the generator. Florian's fine, and then yeah. we need to have someone that is with me that can talk and persuade. Volkov. Do you want Kasia to go yeah, with you? Volk Volkov will be good. Kasia will be too obvious. She's probably too well known in the in the town. Exactly. Not just that, but uh, it sounds like that uh, he's expecting male contact. We mean, yeah. you know, that he's going to meet up with two gentlemen. If a woman shows up in the middle of the group, we might put him on alert. She's just asking. I know. Okay, so, um, all right. So. And I am assuming Volkov also speaks Polish? No, but this guy yeah. is speaking Russian, so. But, um. I, I speak Polish, or I think Rupert speaks Polish. It makes sense yeah, if he yeah. would. Mm -hmm. He just doesn't know Russian, oh, which is the issue. Russian. Would you rather have Florian next to you? He speaks Polish and Russian and German. I mean, two of us would be there, and then I think we'll be okay with the three of us there. Okay. okay. But Kasia will stay off to the side. Okay. In case she's needed. And you taking a JP too? No, I'm just kidding. No, he's at the church praying. <laughs> All right. So Ronson's around the corner with Hicks in the technical. Go ahead and grab a technical one, Hicks. In Rupert's honor, Kasia will be all in black with her black face mask on. Okay. And she will not wear any eye makeup. No eye makeup? No no reflective eye makeup, no. I mean, just wear eye black. That's all you really need. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, right. So let's have Hicks do a drive roll. Uh, and then Kasha and Florian, you do a stealth. You name it to roll Hicks, or who wants to roll Hicks? It's Hicks. Does he have a character sheet? Yes, he does. And you took, you brought Signa too, or no? Uh, I think Signa would. You said you didn't want that many snipers. It's up to you if you want him there. Do you need me to pull up Brian? I'll just roll for drive for him. Drive for Brian? Yep. He's a corporal, by the way. He's good. All right. You're a good in place. You're in a good place, pretty well hidden, Ronson, but you have a good view of like meeting. And yeah, what did meeting you need location. from what you need from Kasha and Ren? Uh I need a uh, stealth. Is it recon and yes. Okay. Yeah, recon. Recon is also stealth. Jeez. Mm -hmm. Okay. Our stealth is fine, and Florian. Florian will push. 
I think he has a tickle on his nose there. Sneezing. Okay. He's better now. That's good. All right. So, Volkov, Rupert, you guys got there in the open. The dude. So I do pick. not forget to say it. I am sure Florian is has his um crossbow out. Crossbow, and is, okay. And is aiming towards that direction. So whoever they meet up with, he will always be trained on. Okay. All right. So yeah, so Rupert Volkov, give me recon rolls. Uh, um, I can roll for Volkov if you want, or do you want to roll for Volkov? I don't think he, he has access Volkov. to Volkov. It might be easier because I don't have him up. Okay. I think you're the only one that has access to Volkov. Hunting. Yeah, this is Vol This is like for like, uh, you know, observing. You want to push? I can push a D6. That's about it. Yeah. If you want, it'll be, it'll be stressful. I think the whole situation is stressful. All right. All right. So, you see this guy? Not all skinny like that. Not all skinny. He's this guy here. This guy here kind of walks up. Uh, Volkov whispers in your ear, Rupert. Um, there, what does he whisper? Is tells it a you careless Russian, whisper? Yeah, it's a careless whisper. Um, but he tells Not you, the huh. he says, he, he says, This guy, he says, uh, this guy only brought one backup. So, hmm. Florian and Kasha and Ronson, who are observing, can also mm -hmm. make a recon check. She will push. Okay. She caught the sneezes from Floria. All right. So there's like one backup coming up behind this guy here, but then trying to flank Volkov and Rupert, there's like six more people. Do they seem as though they are armed? Uh, they're armed, but with like you know, nothing, nothing military grady. They're more like they look like. In fact, they look like hired thugs. Uh, the guy with this guy here, uh, Volkov says he has like a like a submachine gun, hmm. but the other guys have like you know pistols, pistols, rifles. Two, uh, they all they all have like pistols. Two have shotguns. One has a rifle, but no like automatic. Weapons. I would think Florian would be trained on him. Okay. Kasia will crossbow? train on. Yeah, Kasia will have her gun out at this one. Which one? And the one standing next to him. Yeah, There's no the picture one over of there. him. And yep. then the other ones are back over here, right? Yeah, I'll just need like a Marauder tag here. Like Marauders. So she would definitely, if she could call over to um call over to Ronson. You know, maybe call over to the technical and okay. let them know there's six I'll not very well armed. armed thugs behind you. All right. But they're over here. Tasha and Rand. All right, so group do you want to do the talking Rupert or do you want Volko to? Oh Kasha and Florian are back on this side. Yeah, they're trained on these two. I'll have um, uh, Volkov start talking. Uh, actually, Rupert, Polly. All right. 
they heard tell Rupert's him, voice on the radio. You can tell him what you want him so. to say. I'll, you know, you can tell him what you want to say. So it's fine. Yeah. It's your operation. Wilco said, <laughs> it, it is your operation, little Rupert. You just see, oh, uh, almost said the wrong name. You see Rupert just put his head down like, <laughs> Just go ahead and said, um, uh, what is it? Is everything in position? Well, actually, hang on. He reached out to us saying if we were in position, right? At the, I'm trying to remember what he said at the airport exactly because he was trying to reach the sale. We were going to meet together and then talk about the plan, if yeah. I recall, right? right? Yes. So, 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 so he, so he comes up, he kind of waves to you, he looks around. Um, doesn't really seem to notice anyone. Um, and he says, "So are so you? How many men? How many men in your group?" He says, "The pre my pre my predecessor." How many guys did we have at uh, that we encounter with at the airport? Was it like a? It was like a squad. It was a squad. Yeah, it was like six, six guys, seven, six to seven. Six to seven. Yeah. And the company is what, twenty, or ten? No, no, no. 12? So squad, squad usually, like, three uh, platoon is like three squads of seven plus a plus a headquarters, and then a company is three platoons, so like sixty to a hundred. Oh, okay. So I'm trying to think of what's one up than a squad, which is what you a said. Platoon, like three, platoon, platoon. Yeah. Okay. I would say. Um, we have our a total of a platoon. However, um, well, it's a start. He says he looks disappointed. I would say that's just who we have here now. We have more people coming in a few days. They got held up on the way here. He goes. Because well, we have a good. I have a good infrastructure. I have. I'm in. I'm in good with one of the. The local. Mobsters here, he tells you. He says, "Uh." Says my predecessor. Well. Mm-hmm. My predecessor, you know from. Yeah. In that case, I from the say... he says my predecessor, my predecessor was careless. I've been able to to lay low. Not that I really saw eye to eye with my predecessor. We we're kind of a different bureau. Sent sent from Lublin, mm-hmm. and he is he was in charge talking about Malakov, he was in charge of sort of this Krakow area, but, you know, he was foolish enough to, he was foolish and he was foolish enough to run afoul of those meddling Americans. You have to be careful, because you have to be careful of that. They call themselves a free Krakow coalition, but it's really just a bunch of NATO. What do you say, scum? Who would say say scum? Who would see see scum? NATO trash. NATO. There's NATO trash. You know, throwing their outdated Western ideas at us. <laughs> yeah, I mean, it's. It, I guess it's dark yeah. enough. We can't really yeah. tell. You know. And, oh. and Volkov's like Volkov laughs because ha ha yeah yeah yeah. So he's like he he, he kind of mutters under I hate KGB I hate KGB. <laughs> um, I guess I'll say um uh, well it is a new world, so I guess we can make it in the best image, and then. Uh, yes, yes, I I think we have to kind of rebuild. Okay. I know there's also. <laughs> DIA, CIA 
Israeli intelligence, uh, Polish partisans. This place is a mess. We need to kind of lay low for a while. You know, like I said, I'm in with one of the, the local gangsters here. Maybe use them mm -hmm. as sort of a force. Malakov was foolish and used outside marauders that scared the people of Krakow. Yeah, Rupert, you probably get like a, can I, can we take the shot? Can we take the shot? Florian wants to shoot him. They're asking, it's Rupert's operation, so I guess Florian's probably asking Rupert. <laughs> So Rupert was gonna wave off Florian like hiddenly, like you just see him like, like with a finger out, like kind of waving it at the bottom, like behind his back or something. Like he's like you just see, um, like Rupert trying to scratch his back kind of thing. Yeah. But like okay. you see him just like wave his finger, like no, don't shoot. Mm -hmm. And then um, he would say, laying low is not a bad idea to build up strength for a, a prime time. However, what do we need? Besides quality personnel, is there anything else we can do? Well, probably the first thing is to infiltrate that free Krakow coalition. They seem to be pretty powerful. Well, infiltrate or eliminate. We'll call like whistles. Because I hear... Yeah. I hear that they have a helicopter. There are rumors going about that. I haven't seen anything just yet. However, there have been talks about them yeah, coming to the airfield. Roll persuasion as yeah. deception. Oh yeah, nobody there. Yeah, I saw that coming. <laughs> oh, are you, uh, I guess Rupert's talking, or is it Volkov who's doing this shit? Sorry. No. Oh, and you're well, beating. I went him. to roll. Huh? Yeah. I said, well, technically, I'm giving him the word, so I'm not sure exactly how he would want us to roll this. All right, so give me uh, a 2d10 roll. 2d10? Yeah. You'll, I'll let you roll for Volkov. You didn't give me any hey, hey. Yeah. Uh, two, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Although, I mean, Volkov's probably, like, biting his tongue, the back of his tongue or something, because, you know, he, don't threaten my, don't threaten my oh, yeah. helicopter. All right. Um, <laughs> Oh, so Volkov says, oh, oh, uh, so do you want, you could have, like, we can, you know, like, Ocean's Eleven, go back to the dinner, would you have, if this, if he asked about the hind, would you have Volkov want him to come to invite him, invite him out to the airport, is that a, is that a possibility? It's a possibility, it's best to just not show our cards just yet, see what they want to do first. So the idea is to have them uh, reveal what they have so we know that, figure out who their contact is, where their forces are held, and see what they're going to do next. And then basically what we're going to do is slowly sabotage as they build up their forces or create our way in so we can try to, uh, before they go ahead and do a big strike, to do a counteroffensive. He says, well, he says, I hear this, this free Krakow coalition has become very powerful. They're in with the leader here. Uh, we really need to infiltrate him. Malakov ran afoul of them and didn't cover his back. I plan to cover my my back. I I I have a lot of fingers and a lot of pies. I don't really have like the actual manpower mm -hmm. that Malakov that my predecessor. He doesn't say Malakov. This is my predecessor. My yeah. predecessor had. And they don't even know that they work for the KGB. I just hire, you know, thugs and gang people off the streets, you know? Mm -hmm. <clears throat> because my boss doesn't even know I funnel money to do that kind of laughs. <laughs> I guess I'll have uh, Florian say, you know, money is a good oh, is it motivator. However, for the freak, uh, for the, uh, the Krakow Coalition, what would be the best point of entry? you think to get in um well maybe meet have their leaders meet with some accidents mm. i see 
is, do you have is your is group a particular you think idea? your group is strong enough to do that yeah i mean if it's like like Lower you said accidents country. and second of all if we need some time to build up personnel we can personally take our time with this we don't want to move too quickly and raise suspicion uh yeah that's a good idea well i mean I don't know. They tend to act. They, that group tends to act quickly, so we need to act just as quickly. Okay. Then, do you have um, information of which ones you'd like to take out key members first, or like a list, so to speak? Um. Tell us. He says the. Uh, well, the important people. That. Polish operative. Because she seems to be like their leader. I know they have mm -hmm. a tank driver. Yeah, I really. They're pretty close to the vest, you know. Mm -hmm. Whoever flies flies that helicopter. I hear there's even like this this big German guy. <laughs> you just see uh Rupert look at Volkov like like see someone gets it right, but um not saying anything. Volkov, and then Volkov says he's not that big. <laughs> <laughs> and goes in. Sounds like a lot. What do we want to do about these guys? I'm about to say uh my last question would be how much time do we have before you think we they will be able to do something quickly? Because I know we want to have the upper hand. He says, well, word from Lub Lublin says that they're bringing like <clears throat> a battalion strength force. They're going to be something to contend with. We need to take out the leadership now and then groom the next set of leaders. So the sooner the better. Do we already have leaders in place? No. I mean, like, backups already. Do we have our our forces ready to go for leadership? Because if accidents happen quickly. Because no, but I hear, like, the group that's coming are, uh, are Russian, so hmm. we can work on them, you know, for the, for the motherland. Mm-hmm. Out of curiosity, does Volkov or, or Florian, since you've seen him on the scope, can he make out who it is? Like, if they've seen him before? Because uh, Rupert doesn't know who's on the Florian's council. never seen him. Kasha, maybe. What, what I oh, have... yeah, Kasha would have seen him. Yeah, because Kasha looks through, her, through, the, through the binoculars or scope or whatever. Mm -hmm. uh, it's this guy named uh, Yotor Rutovsky. You've met him. He was like, Heinrich Rapaki's like accountant. Yeah. Bookkeeper and secretary. You've met him. You and Jones, you met him. Yeah, he's trouble. Kasia would, I'm assuming you have an earpiece in, Rupert? Probably. She would say he's the bookkeeper for Rapaki. He's not trustworthy. Jonesy was not a fan of him either. And we have Rupert. him in our sights if you need me to eliminate him. Rupert will, I guess, use tactical hand signs. Because mm -hmm. uh, NATO has probably their own handbook uh, for hand signs. Yeah. Well, yeah, these guys would know what you what you want them to do. Yeah. I mean, so, they've told you that these, there's guys behind you trying to flank you. Mm -hmm. Okay. If they're trying to flank us, I mean, these guys either A, don't trust us, or B, wants to take us out because they don't believe us. And you you're, you have a KPV, Bronson, mm -hmm. by the way. Cool. You didn't tell us how many days out, right? They just said a big force was coming. 
uh, that was not, coming soon. They probably don't know. You know, the, I you mean, know. they're they're coming tomorrow. Okay. Less than a day. Yeah, less mm -hmm. than a day now. They're probably camping like at Novi Huta now. Okay. I guess hmm, honestly, it might be best to take them out here. And then prepare for a big battle coming. Because mm -hmm. I'm I'm thinking out loud now. So there's no time for sabotage. There's no time for espionage. It's really take out a big player now. Take out the flank. Get out of the firefight. And then regroup and then come up with a battle strategy. You want Ren to take the shot? I'll go ahead and I'll put a I'll put, I'll put a sign up that not necessarily take the shot now but fire uh the fire has been authorized like you, lethal force has been authorized so you can't take the shot but at the opportune moment you know so i don't need to take him out right then and there yeah he'll wait but florian is trained on him and with all of his stuff he gets um his range combat is a his agility is b so it'd be ba to take him out okay and then I'll Ronson if he's in position can go ahead and start taking out the flank All with right. the, the tactical. Make a, so with what the about this guy here? Dasha can take him out. Okay. But she does not want to take him out until Florian takes out the the bookkeeper. All right. Well, the book, little bookkeeper. Well, you see, a uh, Rupert, you're probably like it's probably more like because you say you have Volkov talking, so it's probably more like. Like the other mm -hmm. way around, right? Yeah. So, like, Volkov can shield you if you want to draw or something. Volkov is like fidgeting. And he probably only has like a pistol, probably mm -hmm. brought a pistol and probably has his like AK shouldered. So, if you're, if Rupert, you, I mean, if Volkov draws, it probably will ruin surprise, but Rupert could probably do something. But then Speaking. these guys, these guys would see that, and this guy might see that. So, so I'll wait until we'll get like try to get our hands in the right position, not necessarily make it suspicious, mm -hmm. you know, like make it look like we're scratching our back or like shivering because of the cold. Try to get our hands in position, and then yeah. whenever Florian takes that first shot, then we'll draw. All right. Well, Brian would hand the grenade over to Ronson too if Ronson wants to throw a grenade first. I only if they get close, I would say. But I would yeah, say he has to be in close enough range. I don't think he's in for the no. Plane. Hicks is Hicks is probably gonna get get his you know, get outside the vehicle, mm -hmm. get his eight, get his M sixteen ready. Mm -hmm. And uh, yeah, all right, so Florian takes a shot first. Then, whenever you tell him to, he will. All right, Rupert, give me a recon roll to see if you if you like pull off like that sort of okay. deception to get in position. Ah, can I push the other one? The, yes, you can push the D8. The D8. Damn. Roll 20 does not like me anymore. What's it? A D8. Oh, hey. It stresses you out, though. That's fine. It's a All stressful right. situation. Okay. <laughs> his, his crossbow is rate of... It doesn't have a rate of fire, so it's just one? Yeah, it just shoots one time. Okay. I just want to make sure I have the right number of ammo. I mean, you guys are all in position. You're actually in the park. You know, you're close enough to just. You know. Would okay. it be better? Would it be better if he used a sniper rifle? Uh, that's probably more lethal, but the the crossbow is quiet. Quiet. That's. So I mean, obviously, I'm... the KPB is not going to be quiet. Yeah. Well, I mean, he's going to be aiming. Oh, for but the... you know, okay. So if you guys are up here in the old road above Taniska, let me see if there's a. Because, I mean, it's not about being quiet and whatnot. The quick, the trick is is to be quiet till the first shot. You make the first shot count, and then all of us fire at once after that, and then you miss the confusion of the first shot. Yeah, so this, you know, this is not going to be manned, right? You know this position mm -hmm. won't be manned, but this one will be. So they will, you know, they'll hear you, and there'll be some sort of response, but, you know, who knows how long it'll be. Okay. All right. 
So he he gets the same whether he is doing the um okay. crossbow or the SVD. So would you rather him do the SVD or would you rather him do the the crossbow is quieter. Okay, so do the crossbow. Mm -hmm. Okay, let me know when you're ready for him to go. Well, Rupert's ready. He's in position. Mm -hmm. Okay. So fire it well. Yeah, go for it, St. Florian. It's a hit. It's a crit. And it is. So roll location and then. So D6. D6 for location. Yeah, D6. Oh, oh, he's done. He just got Jonesy. <laughs> That's a chest shot to the back. And now Kasha needs to take her shot. Yeah. So you see, like a. I just want to. See, I want to see what the, what nine is. I know <laughs> eight was hard explodes, but nine is close, right? Oh yeah. Internal bleeding. Fall down, cannot run, only crawl. Okay. Right in the back. So you see like the the bolt protrude from his, you know, right under his his sternum there. Well called in report. All right. So Kasha's wants to shoot at this dude. Yeah. That's I gonna be of, loud. I have the thing. So this guy's this guy will be dead and around. Well, I have the thing where she gets to move it up. I was just making sure because I never put it down from the last time mm -hmm. from when I was moving, but I'm not moving. Yep. So do you, she has the AK-74, so yep. three bullets, two bullets? However many you want, Amy. She's adamant. She wants to take them out. This guy here? This guy's probably a KGB guy. That's also a crit. As you, uh, you hear you hear that the AK seventy four, Gabe. Four so, four. So four. So he gets hit in the chest. And okay, so this guy is taken. That's probably not a crit for him, but it's okay. He did three damage. Okay. All right. Uh, do you want to have Rupert or Rupert go? Because you see this guy get shot. Well, it says crit three. What does that mean then? Yeah, but he's got. He's probably got. You shot him in the chest. This guy. This guy probably has like a black check on. Him. Okay. This guy didn't. He well, he did. was shot in the head. <laughs> no, he was shot in the back of the, in the back in the chest. Yeah. Uh, all right. Okay. Rupert, do you yeah. want to go? And then, sure. and then Bronson will unload. I guess you're shooting at this guy here that Volta pointed out to you. Yeah, and it's pistol range, right? That's what we're doing. Uh. Yeah, or he'll probably be in, he'll be in pistol range, but you're not aiming, so you know it's going to be, yeah, yeah. I guess you're not moving, so you're just drawing or raising your gun and shooting, mm -hmm. so you can aim and shoot. Oh, you're gonna push it. I'm gonna have to. You could roll that D10 and then there's the other two. Nice. And then so the other D sixes? Yeah, the two D sixes, yeah. It's like you're going pop pop. Oh. All right. Well that is um that guy is not two more damage. damage. Where'd you roll see where you hit him? Oh. In the chest, yeah. All right. That's one more damage then. But it's not a it's not a crit then. Mm -mm. 
Nope. All right. All right. So Volkov is going to move forward and go ambush, ambush. And he kind of runs. Oops. He kind of moves forward to like his knee to kind of use this guy's falling body par as partial cover, just in case. And then he's going to shoot this guy, but it's going to be like a quick shot. So Volkov. And hopefully Gabe is ready to unload, unleash yep. hell. <laughs> uh, so let me shoot combat pistol. And we got to do it. Ready to fire two. And he is a BC. But it's going to be a C. C. Should I go? I should go BD or or or. Uh, CC, what do you think? BD, because I'll use a dice. BD or CC? For what? For my CC. CC. See where it hits him. I'm gonna want to push for Volkov. Yeah. The two v six and a d eight. Nope. Nope. Okay. He missed him. No, he hit him. Oh. But and the location in the head. <laughs> Okay, but so that's good. That means it's two more points of damage. So that guy, that guy drops. Didn't have any protection in the head. So at least that guy drops, takes a critical hit. Ooh. Okay, but it, it's not a lethal. I don't think it's a lethal. A Ted, four lethal. No, no. Shot him in the face. Oh. You want to push the D12? Bronson. Well, let's see. That's, uh, that's, Five points of damage to three of those guys, if you want. And you wanted Brian to fire too? So five points of damage to three of those guys, that's probably your best bet. I guess if okay. you wanted to roll um, that extra D6, that other D6, to see if you get a six. Okay. Um, to see if you get another guy with five points of damage. Uh, no. All right. So the other. And you want Brian to shoot? Because I pulled him up with all that. Yeah. Go ahead. Uh -oh. he, he can push, right? Yeah. D12, wow. D8. Or should I just re-roll the whole thing? Well, you can't re-roll those two, two D6s. Well, it's D12. So a D12, a D8, and four D6. Those three guys are done. Oh, not wow. One, two, three. All right. His, he needs to fix his M16 now, though. That's okay. Jam. Yeah. But he had got, he did a uh, one, two, one, two, three, four, five. He took another guy out. He doesn't shoot very often. He's a driver. Yeah. But... He took another guy out. Five points of damage. But... Nobody gets in the way of his buddies. <clears throat> okay, I got to roll um, their cover, their uh, coolness under fire. There's only two left. <laughs> yeah. Oh, they make it. Okay, so we got to roll initiative. Just so that you know, Kasha gets two cards. Okay, so I'll start from the top then. Let me make sure I shuffle these. All right, so up top. Remember, you can. Oh, nice. So, Ronson and Hicks have a two and a five. Lower better. I thought higher. Lower is better. The okay. the bad guys have a six. Okay. Rupert has an ace. An ace up his sleeve. Mm -hmm. Volkov 
has a five. Florian has a four. And then Kasha gets two cards, mm -hmm. a three, and a six, so three. Three. All right, uh, Rupert. Actually, this guy's this I'm... guy's down. Mm -hmm. Or you want to I'm... give it to somebody else? Remember, you can. I was to... thinking about searching with Florian, so Florian can take another shot with the sniper. Uh, he's got a crossbow though. He's gonna have to switch. Oh, he's another switch. Oh. Never I'm mind. Sure he, I'm sure he could have dropped it, Carl. He has both ready. He just can't aim. I don't. Yeah, he just won't be able to aim. Who does he want? You want him to shoot this guy? This guy is now, this guy is now. Well, this guy will be dead at um five. Well, I mean, Kasha can take out the little guy there, but I mean, I think it'd be better to have Florian shoot at the two, right? But it's, they're kind of. Yeah, I guess he can take out a sniper rifle. And take a shot at them, but it's going to be like at a minus, minus dice, minus one dice. He's at a BA right now. What do you want him at then? BB. BB. The range isn't going to yeah. matter. The range isn't going to matter if you're like all in the botanical. The range is 10. Yeah, it's not going to matter. Yeah, I'll let Florian take a shot because with my dice rolls today, he might have a better, better right. shot. <laughs> yeah. So, so would you rather a... him do. Two or one ammo? Two, right? To shoot one shot at this guy. So, but it has a rate of fire of two, so click one or two. Uh, well, then you'll use up your ammo. I mean, because only got a five, five round magazine. Use it's one a, shot. It's a 10. Oh, ten, okay. 10 round magazine. You might use all your magazine if you do that. Then I'll just use one, Carl. I don't know why you're fighting with me. Just asking a question. Oh, that's four damage. It's a crit. Uh, roll location. Uh, they don't have black jackets, so chest. It's a D10. Oh, five and three. Oh, five. Five was the arm. Three. Okay, it's a crit. This guy takes four points. But it's not a lethal crit. Okay, like I get shot. All right, uh, that was Florian. Um, Hicks, Bronson. You want so, Hicks? Bronson. Another round, another spray from the KPV. Okay. Yeah. Hicks would rather Bronson go. Okay. He's got the big boom boom gun. Oh, gosh. I think it's over now. Uh... One guy gets torn up, for sure. I, I probably don't want to push it, though, right? Because you don't want to... One guy gets torn up. There's one guy who's pretty messed up. That... I, I let uh, Hicks... Uh, well, so that's, that was two. Uh, so three is Kasha. You want Kasha to shoot them? Shoot up there? Yeah, it's probably going to be like minus dice, minus one dice, but she can to finish this guy off. Um, she... or unless she wants to go like administer, go right out there and capture this guy. Well, she has CB. So you said shooting up there would be CC, right? Yeah. That's a hit. Oh, uh, did you roll? Oh, yeah, it's a hit. Uh, three points of damage. Yeah, he's done. He's done. I mean, oh, yeah, that's a lethal shot, too. Yeah. This other guy that has, like, the one point left, we can take him back with us if you want. Oh, this guy here? But he's he's on he's out. He's incapacitated, but he's um But he's yeah, this... not, he's not in the eternal sleep, correct? No. I mean this you just got a lethal shot on the on the guy up there. So he, this guy's gonna die now. We can drive the technical there and 
Yeah. Okay. Do you need her third all medical to just stabilize him or is he okay? Uh, he didn't take a lethal shot. I mean, if you want to get him conscious, but you don't have to. He didn't take a, I don't think he took a lethal hit. Okay, so just get him conscious. All right, well, I guess Rupert could go grab him too. If you wanted to, Rupert. Mm -hmm. It's your turn. Whenever you get to her, she rolled an 11 for medical. Okay. So who went to, who got hit? Who need the Rupert can grab? This guy down here. Oh. He's the only one still not with the eternal sleep. Yeah, the other guy did the other these other guys got cut up. I mean they're, they're okay. gone. They yeah. Hit with like fifty cal rounds. I mean, it's nothing left. I'll go out to him, see if I can get him to cooperate unless he wants to go to the eternal sleep. I'll give him a choice. He's he he doesn't he can't. I mean, he's like incapacitated, so he's like. Oh, in that case, yeah, we'll go over to him and yeah, I guess Kasha, strip Kasha him of his weapon. Kasha yeah. has the medical aid. He's he's out like a light. She's just. Yeah, but okay. we don't want him to wake up with any weapons and whatnot on him. Yeah. No, not okay. at all. So Volkov will grab this guy and throw him in the back as a technical drives up. Mm -hmm. Um. All right. So just uh, I just need Hicks to. Oh, so how how are we gonna explain it when we get back to um do the checkpoint here? Or are we gonna drive are we gonna just drive out of town and around to the airport? We could go to the airport. That'd probably be the best idea. Like all around. Yeah. Gosh, and Florian can go back. Oh to actually or place. actually, you know what? You could like you can go go this way. Towards Novi Huta and meet up with the with the uh, Russians. If you wanted to, we could say that we got attacked and that 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 a force is coming and then try to get them to flee. No, 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 no. The uh, you're Russians. The oh, our Russians. You're Russians. <laughs> yeah, the okay. tenth, the the guys that you brought from Warsaw. Sorry, there's too many Russians in this yeah. equation, and it's starting to throw <laughs> Rupert off. Yeah, the, I mean, if you go through here, they're going to ask German. questions. Remember, they, they like to, they close this off at night, right? So, yeah, yeah, but we Kasha can. And Florian can can walk back. Okay. okay. Honestly, it might be a good idea to interrogate him there. Out there. Yeah. Yeah. This guy, by the time you get to this guy, you know, this guy's he, dead. He's, he's dead. dead. He only had a round. I mean, he got him right. Mm -hmm. He's eternally sleeping. He's dead. He only had a round to live. He didn't get to him. So, yeah. This guy's alive. Gashi would like to go through his pockets and see if he has identification on him of any kind that she can then get to Gus. The bulk I'll hand, hand you his stuff. Thank you, darling. Yes, good job. Good job, big German. You will always be our little German. I will call you, I will now call you Dutch. But I'm not Dutch. <laughs> no. I am German. Did, did you not see Predator? <laughs> yes, in German. <laughs> I mean, I know I know Schwarzenegger was Schwarzenegger was playing a Russian, because only a Russian could take out a an alien like that. But But this is know. not Red Deal. <laughs> but, yeah, I guess Red Deal was also. Yeah, I was. What was his name in Red What was his name in Red Deal? Oh God, I just I can't try Maybe to I'll call it. you that. Oh, that is Red better deal. nickname for you. That is better nickname for you, Rupert. <laughs> You'd be the big German from Red Deal. Since you're honorary <laughs> Russian. Good job, mm -hmm. Rupert. Good job. Thank you for getting my back. We'll call him Cosmonaut. Cosmonaut. Oh, right. So <laughs> we'll probably we'll probably end the session here, but you guys probably want are so Kasha and Florian want to go back to town or you want to go out to meet your Russian like your Russian no, friends. To, so that it doesn't seem like it was all us, Kasia and Florian would go mm -hmm. back to home base. Okay. She would, I'm assuming that Gus's people are still around the compound. She would send note to him. Okay. With that guy's identification card and say, we have eliminated some of your problem. Okay. As promised. Nice. And now we have leads for the other parts of the problem too. Yeah. 
We won't tell him about that. He doesn't <laughs> need to know everything. He'll figure it out. All right, and then Hicks, Ronson, uh, Rupert, Volkov, and the prisoner oh, cool. are going to right. head out to uh, to meet the Russians. The, well, you're apparently, Russian. you and Volkov are got quite a friendship going on over I know. There. Volkov's going to choose you as his buddy, Rupert. <laughs> well, cool. Good. Good little fight there to end it, but we'll call yeah. it there. Um, so we get the XP. Well, you found out a lot of information today. Mm-hmm. You played. Uh, you could evaluate if you pushed your agenda and goal and moral code and stuff. But definitely got into a firefight. You know. Um, so that's at least uh, four XP. Okay. Right. Maybe five if you did both your moral code and your big dream. Well, mine is rebuilding Krakow into capital of Poland. But I think I am fine with four. Yeah. I have okay. to spend some. Yeah. Moral Make, code making, back making, home a, alive. making an enemy of a sadistic, a big sadistic dude is not, uh, does not engender you in an XP. What, Coco Puff? <laughs> <laughs> You're lucky I rolled a, if I had rolled like a, like a, I think seven or higher, he actually acts on his violence. He would have what? Like, what is it? Um, so, yeah, five to seven is moderate, eight to ten is strong. So, yeah, if I roll a world of eight or higher, he would have acted quicker before Gus got there. All right. Crazy. All right, well, guys, thank you guys for playing. That was really fun. Thank she, you. Might take, she might All take right. Coco Puff out drinking. Uh, so apparently Kosh is immune to like uh poison now too. Mm-hmm. <laughs> or or Brandy has some mitigating effects. Mm-hmm. Or he didn't have the right formulation. Yeah. All right. All right. Well, thank well, you guys so much for guys. playing. Thank you all up uh, everyone for listening and watching. Uh don't forget to like, subscribe, and all that. And uh, please the algorithm. That's right. And uh, the algorithm. I don't. One of these days, maybe we'll do this live. I don't know. But uh, <laughs> good night and good rolling. Nostrovia. <laughs>